So here we have, uh, as we were talking earlier, Shweta has seen a bit of our educational system and a bit of the American system. So let me just ask her what is the difference and whether those good things that she saw out there, can they be implemented in our country? So can they be? Do you think there's something Definitely that Definitely they can be implemented okay. because uh, here, uh, it, and the change is being seen. I see a lot of my younger cousins and all that. They don't have any kind of an exam or anything like that. I'm not against exams because it basically gives you a measure to know where you stand. But um, in a system with such high population and so much competition, I think this is how the system works. But what can be done in general is uh, parents should probably look at what children want to do and not impose on something on them that they probably might not be able to catch up with then what happens is they go into this rebel mode and they're not at home they're not outside and they're not accepted anywhere so, well out there do the teachers recognize that the, that the student is not keen on it or something like that or it has to be no they do say that the student is probably weak in the subject see until a particular class you have to study all subjects True. whether you like it or not because everything. that's when you learn you cannot just yeah. learn only about science and not know what math is or not True. know what some of the subject is so Literature, they need to have yeah, yeah you need to have an idea about everything but after some time you Parents will easily find out where the niche is or the child starts saying, okay, I draw well. You cannot expect a child who's interested probably in art or in history or in economics to go and study science. Mm. Maybe the child is going to score, but eventually is he going to Maybe be happy with his life? profession oriented you know the worries stem from there you yeah know. and people think that you earn more when you're when you're in a when you're in an office well in my house they believe so you go to an office 10 to 5 job finish come back home lead a nice life all that's fine but eventually are you happy with it but at the same time if you do something you're passionate about maybe initially you don't earn as mm, much mm. but eventually you know that you're you, you can you know die not eat not sleep but you can still do that that's that's what you're passionate about and when you know you can recognize that there'll be one day where you will definitely achieve because you're just excellent at it you're not working towards it mm. it's what you want well you may not be excellent but you you you, uh, you excel in whatever it. little yeah. bit that you enjoy so exactly you can just take that. and there's no point in doing something else okay so when when we when you came back here and you joined an indian college and then you you took up stem cell research uh, what is it i mean that's no i what i had to do subject. when i had to come back i had to do one project so um there was uh, an initial project being done in uh, University of California Davis at, for pan pancreatic stem cells. Okay. And then I came back and uh, I don't know if I can afford a pancreas here, but then I could definitely afford umbilical cords. Okay. So I wanted to, I thought, let's try and do something like that. And then uh, uh, I enrolled myself. When you say afford a pancreas, what do you mean? You need, you we need don't know. A, I mean, they don't, give us, they don't give us pancreas or something that has come from the river. I really don't know how to work around the system here mm -hmm. whether we go well, and how ask. do you get a pancreas out there in the u.s no they do get it from some kind of uh, maybe from a donor, a body donor. Okay. they will have it they will be stored it okay. is like a common procedure there okay. and uh, the college does it we don't do it so okay. i have no idea how they go through so that it's procedure. like raw material uh, that raw material. Other, you yeah, get the, pancreatic the, yeah stem the, cell. the professor who's involved he gives it for us so i don't know how to do that because unless you do a phd you don't know probably know the admin work okay. involved in that okay yeah and uh, here i here nobody gives you oh i want a pancreas nobody's going to give it to you yeah but uh, one thing I knew is that I could catch hold of umbilical cord, st uh, umbilical, umbilical cord stem cells because there are so many babies being born every day. True. So, um, I so where did you go myself, to get them? I went to Eggmore Medical Hospital. I enrolled myself okay. at Lifestyle International and they were so it's involved. So that, that mother and child hospital, is that the one where would normally uh, get children? You need it from children. Is you it need it from, from children. Yeah. So um, The maternity hospital. The I maternity guess. hospital at Eggmore. Okay. And... Um, it's we do have a lot of legal issues you're not supposed to get something like that but we are doing something for science and mm. that is okay and certain nurses and doctors some of them have an issue with that because it's not ethically correct to just give away but it's going to the garbage anyway okay. and if we are using it for science and research work i think it should be encouraged okay. on the contrary it was not encouraged we had to pay money well, and like, get oh even, and get even for research work even for research so like, work. Uh, hide and it was seek. more like hide and seek yes oh Yes. So you could get hauled up by some medical authority or maybe just the police? I have no idea. I could didn't, you? I didn't, I didn't, I, we could, I mean, if it was, if it had become a big, it's not correct to go and get some, because even if we go through the legal procedures, there's so much, they, they start throwing tantrums. But at the same time, people are paying. Hmm. If, see, there's no, there's nothing called legal procedure or anything like that. All it needs is the consent of the mother. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, if we try and go and explain it to people who are probably coming to the Igmore Maternity Center, they might not understand. They might think that I'm taking a part of their baby. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's true. They won't know that this is something that's going to waste. Many, some mothers know, or, okay, it's not a big Or that is going to maybe help them, the baby, maybe in the years to come. 
Yes, exactly. But uh, over there again, we write it as anonymous. We don't actually give a name for it because it's for research purpose. Okay. But uh, this has become quite a rampant thing in uh, Chennai as of now because many people are actually storing their stem cells and the blood, the cord blood, etc. So that in case in future they do land up with something, they will have an issue. Uh, they can always get themselves. Clear. But it's still somewhat illegal. You think for to to go and uh, st store no, 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 storing no, no, is not. perfectly legal. No, 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 it's perfectly legal. So where, do you, where, where would one keep uh, one's uh, stem cells? Where? Where? They have cryopreservation, uh, it's like storerooms. They have? Yeah, We've course. got all the things. Yeah, yeah, we have so many companies now. This is like, you some, see them like something over. out of uh, Star Wars. I mean, uh, to say that in Chennai such a thing is available, we don't even know about it. It's going all over India. It is? Yeah, so all, I'm, all, most of the babies, I mean, who are educated at least, most of the educated family store there. Do they I go think it's about 75,000 to 1 lakh. No, do they go and ask the mother that, you know, this is what we want? No, the, what the family does is, the, the couple goes before... Uh, before the pregnancy, before the delivery yeah, day, delivery, yeah. they go in and tell the uh, hospital, the, maybe any of these companies that store cord liver oil, uh, cord, sorry, uh, umbilical, <laughs> <I love> <laughs> <that>. <laughs> okay. umbilical, umbilical cord, uh, saying that. So obviously, some doctor is telling them that. Otherwise, which mother and which father knows about all this thing? I don't think. Yeah, it's, um, it's doctors might knowledge. say that. Okay. Actually, most of the parents before having their baby, they get so paranoid. So I'm sure they're looking at all this. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, some I mean, parents were educated. Definitely. Yeah. And will. then there's word of mouth. Okay. In India, that's the best advantage. You have so many people. All right, that so let's, let's uh, look at one scene where you have managed to grab, as they say, uh, some of these stem cells. So what do you do with this? Uh, what I did initially was we had to take the... We, the baby comes into the hand. We cut the cord or they cut the cord for us and give it to us. And then we strip off the blood, put the cord and store it. And there's a center. What I did was... Lyson International had a center in Mamlam, so we deposited there and then I used to go to Kalem Bakam to do my uh, research work for the previous day. Basically, it's processing of the cells. Okay. Many technicians used to do it. I don't think I would have been able to do it without their help, but because I was just doing undergrad and okay. you're not, you know. So there's a complete setup ready for this. I mean, the, the baby is born, this is this. Yeah, stem yeah. Cells it's, are taken, it's, collected, yes. rushed down. Usually it is for uh, people who have already paid. Have already okay. paid. Yeah, they pay so and then they cost? inform. They what form. does it cost to? I think it's about seventy-five thousand to a lakh. So a lot of people are willing to pay that kind of money to store some stem cells. Yeah, if it's going to save your baby's life someday. Someday. Yes. Yeah, it's like taking insurance. We don't even take insurance. What the hell are you talking about? Stem cells. <laughs> <laughs> no, people don't want to this take insurance is if the they car. need. If they're having some life-threatening disorders. Maybe or that's when they might be thinking about it. Yes. All and right, it can folks. also help um, your cousins or somebody who's. You know, whose cells are histocompatible, it's called that is the... Okay, so you might be able yeah, to... You might help other people as well. One of your own well. family. family. All right, so the, this is interesting. Uh, I, I really didn't think that, you know, people are doing all this in India, but it is. So when she comes back, or rather when we come back, we'll talk a little bit about how they store this and how do we use it in, in the years to come.